Do you know what I heard you tell Vanity Fair? You were talking about how you go home to the hotel while you're shooting mm. this movie and fall asleep to the soothing sounds of Law and Order. You know, I find the Law and Order franchise so, there's something, they've got that like McDonald's special sauce in it that is like, it's just comforting. You can come in at any point in the hour right. and pretty much know what's going on. Yep. And it's just, I think I look for Law and Order when I finish a long day and I'm in the process of shooting so it's, you just come home and wash your face and you've got to get to sleep. And I'm a huge sleep pussy. I don't know if you can say that on Rotten Tomatoes. But yeah, you can. Yeah, and um, so I just, it's such a race to get get some Zs. And, and you know, lot, wherever you are in the world, practically, certainly in, in the, the North America. Sure, it's on. You can find it. You can find a law and order. And all is right. With You're absolutely the world. right. It's like a Mc, <laughs> it is a, like a McDonald's thing. Like even if you don't watch it at home. See, this is fascinating to me because what I always wonder is how, when you're acting, you let it go in a movie like this. I'm so glad that I was totally naive going into this because I said, yeah, it's it's a drama. It's heavy, but you know that's just between action and cut. We could be joking around, having fun the rest of the time, and. And that's true to a very small degree, but sure. it was really, uh, like the actors say, you know, it was heavy and it came home with me and it stayed with me. So to find, to just be able to go to a blank space and other people might meditate, I find a procedural that is just easy that I can half watch and, yeah, yeah. you know, dig into a Law and Order or a Bones, an NCIS. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Any Sex in the City rerun. Oh, get it up top. Holds up. <laughs> just is like such a worm blanket. So many good points, so many cautionary tales also. <sighs> Timeless. I'm like, ladies, watch it and watch what never to do in right. Sex in the City. And that episode when Miranda's mother dies, it's a classic. And she gets upset with the bra salesman. Saleswoman, and yes, it's like a mother you. moment where it's right. like she lost her mother and she's not thinking about it, but then it's like that's where it all came. I could do it myself! <laughs> and then you could see her brain go, I'm not going to have that anymore, that mom daughter angst. That mom <laughs> thing. I touch on that episode a lot actually when I think about my mom in real life, and I'm like, someday I'm going to be in that dressing room. Someday I'll be that character. And I think maybe that's the closest I'll ever know to being a method actor. Because I'm not an actor. I don't know how you guys do it. But maybe you're a Miranda. I'm such a Miranda. You're such a classic Miranda. <laughs>